Hello traders, this is D7 with freetradingvideos.com and another up day. And as you see here, uh, Dow's up uh, 0.7, but the Nasdaq's up a full percent, S&P up a full percent, Russell's up a full percent, and a big big drop in the VIX. It's great to see we're under 50 and even under 45 on the VIX. Fear is dissipating. But let's take a look at the broad markets and have a full understanding of what in fact is taking place. Uh, we did have this tweezers bottom, we did have this hammer here, and we had this run. We had a shooting star, but the shooting star, let's zoom in here, the shooting star that we see here did not come to fruition. Why? Because we did not make a lower low going below the 825 mark. Because of that, truly this wasn't a shooting star. Um, we needed that to happen to get a leg heading downward. But instead, we actually got a gap up and a run, and we hit our head right here, and we're finding some resistance at the 11 EMA, which is my pink line there. So um, things are looking nice and bullish. But let's look at a kind of a bigger picture. Picture. What we do have just recently established is a higher swing low. Gang, that's bullish in anybody's book. Higher swing low right here and is precisely what we have. You have to call it like you see it. And, um, and in this market, the question is, is this our inverted head and shoulders? Shoulder, head, and shoulder. It certainly could be that. So uh, is this our bottom? Well, maybe, maybe not. I would still like to see us drop back down, testing some of these areas. I would feel more comfortable buying off of some of these support areas that we established back in 2002 and 2003. Now, let's take a look at the spiders. And again, this is just the S&P ETF. And the reason I want to do this is because it gives me a nice look at the volume. So here, um, we have the same chart. Basically, it is the S&P, but it's the ETF on the S&P. Here's the volume. Look at the swell of volume, the big volume that we had here during this low. And there's a lot of buy volume. See the blue bars down here? Um, really nice to see. A lot of buying taking place here. But what do we see on this rally that we have? We had a, a, a couple few day rally. We see a dissipation a, or a dissipating of volume, volume drying up. So fewer and fewer buyers coming into this upswing. So that's indicative to a, a downward draw, draw or drop, and um, and that could take place. So if you look at this, this could just be a bear pullback. There's a big drop and a little bear pullback, and then look for another leg down. So going back to the S and P. We have this drop, 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 and a pullback. Are we going to have another leg down? Maybe. So this is what we need to be careful of is start looking for a drop. Now, this line that we have right here, this green line, could act as support. So I'd be watching that support, and maybe we'll come down that area. But if we do crash to these areas here, they could be violent drops, big big candlesticks to the downside, boom, boom, boom. But I'd want to see nice support at 800 or or right here at the 775 area. That would be great to see. So if we take a look here at the Dow, and this is the Dow that we're looking at. We just come crashing down. We're kind of a rolling bottom here, and we're hitting our head on declining moving averages. And here's the NASDAQ. In the NASDAQ, we had this half-baked, if you will, falling wedge that actually came to fruition. We did pop here, um, but it's not overly exciting on the pop. We're already stalling at these moving averages acting as resistance. I do like the fact that we're staying above 1,500. That's a key area, 1,500 on the, um, on the NASDAQ. Let's see if we can continue that. So um, something I do want to share with you all is um, something that has jumped out and um, at us here. I've got some friends here with free trading videos, spending some time um, here at the trading desk. And I want to show you something. If you go here to insider trading, and this is finviz.com, but click on insider trading. Um, and then over here to the right,
you can click here and go down to buy transactions and that's going to that's going to show you all the different buyers um all all the people buying in uh their companies and these are all uh, officers or um directors board of directors in their company but then I'm going to do the top insider trading recent week these are the big dogs doing a lot of money here they are and and let me show you the types of money we're talking about here if we move over just a little bit uh we 11 million dollars 2 million dollars 11 million dollars 11 million dollars 1 million dollars this is what the insiders are putting back on their own company that they're uh, an executive in and look who's top of the list JP Morgan see this Bank of America <laughs> Goldman Sachs we have Bank of America again US Bancorp they are at the top. I wanted to show this to the world, all 145 countries that are coming to our website right now, that we have CEOs and directors buying aggressively back into their own businesses. Let that be a telltale sign and pay special attention to that. So anyway, there you have it. Thank you for being a part and joining us here at Free Training Videos. And thank you for all those that are coming in and, and sharing in the forums. And uh, please, down there at the bottom, if you're on YouTube, you know, please give us a rating of five stars and leave a comment. Um, the the more stars and ratings we get, and the more comments we get, the the more people um, get to see these videos. And also here at Free Training Videos, leave comments and we'll converse back with you. We really appreciate all the comments that you guys leave. So take care and always, 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 as all, usual, trade always with a stop loss in place. Until next time, we'll catch you at freetradingvideos.com.